Hello everyone. So welcome back again to Automation 24/7. So today we are going to discuss about Selenium 3 and Selenium 4. So in interview questions for quality analysts, there could be questions asked in regarding Selenium like can just highlight the difference between Selenium 3 and Selenium 4 or like what are the features of Selenium 3? What are the features of Selenium 4? What are the drawbacks of Selenium 3 over Selenium 4? Or what are the advantages of Selenium 4 over Selenium 3? So all these questions can be answered if you follow this video. So I'm going to cover all these answers related to Selenium 3 as well as Selenium 4 in this video. So Selenium 3 and Selenium 4, all points in brief. So let's start. So I will be covering basically like what is Selenium. So if you can start like what is Selenium, then you will be covering Selenium 3, Selenium 4, comparison between both of these, then the features that have been released in selenium 4 and coming to the conclusion so i have created the slides uh, and covered these points into this slide so if you follow this if you go through this you could answer any questions regarding this selenium 3 as well as selenium 4 right so let's first look what is selenium so if any questions are asked regarding version 3 or version 4 or the difference between that so before that you can start with like that selenium is an open source tool that automates web browsers and we all know that it also allows us to write test scripts in various programming languages such as java python c sharp and many more like so these scripts can simulate user actions on web page like clicking buttons filling out forms and navigating between pages on top of that, this automation testing with Selenium it has many benefits. So it saves time and effort by automating repetitive tasks. It also helps catch bugs early in the development process, reducing the cost of fixing them later. Additionally, it also ensures consistent and reliable results. So you can explain these points, like what is the usage of Selenium, why we use it. Coming to the next point, you can start explaining to the interviewer like what is Selenium 3. So Selenium 3 is a powerful tool obviously for automated testing and it comes with a variety of features. Now one of its strength is the ability to support multiple languages like Java, Python, C Sharp and many more. So it makes it a versatile tool that can be used across different platforms as well as applications. So additionally Selenium 3 offers a range of built-in functions and commands that make it easy to create and execute test scripts. However, there are some limitations also. And those are like Selenium 3 is not as fast or efficient. Okay. Also, Selenium 3 does not offer native support for mobile testing. Okay. So, these are the drawbacks what we can see. Okay. Now, coming to Selenium 4. So as you have seen previously the drawbacks of Selenium 3. So in Selenium 4, we have overcome these drawbacks. So what are those? So before, over, before looking into the details, let us start with Selenium 4. Like what is it? It is basically the latest version of the popular open source automation framework for web application testing. It comes with a host of new features and improvements. And therefore it makes it more powerful and easier to use. Now, one of the most notable changes that released in Selenium 4 is the introduction of the Selenium Grid, like for parallel testing across multiple machines and browsers, right? So, the Selenium Grid has been introduced, which allows users to run tests in parallel across multiple machines and browsers, and this can significantly, therefore, reduce the test execution time and improve overall efficiency. Efficiency. So, this was one of the things that lagged in Selenium 3 and it released in Selenium 4. The next feature that we can consider is improved browser support, better error handling, 
enhanced debugging capabilities. On top of that, additionally, Serenium 4 has been designed with a focus on compatibility with the latest web technologies, ensuring that it remains relevant and effective in today's fast-paced fast development landscape. On top of that, you can also say like Serenium 3, compared to Serenium 3, Serenium 4 represents a significant step towards functionality and usability. Its new features and improvements make it an attractive option for developers and testers for their improving overall efficiency. So you can include these points also while explaining to the interviewer. On top of that, you can also say that it has the potential to have a major impact on automation testing. Now coming to the next slide. So the comparison that we are going to do. So you can highlight the points like this. Serenium 3 was a major improvement over its prede predecessor Serenium 2. It was introduced, it introduced several features like improved browser support, better, better error handling and updated APIs. However, it still had some limitations like lack of support for headless browsers and slower execution speed compared to other automation tools. Now, Serenium 4, on the other hand, promises to address many of these limitations and introduce new features that makes the automation testing more efficient okay so some of the key improvements include better support for headless browsers integration with devtools protocol and a new unified serenium id so we are going to come in the next slide in brief regarding the features of serenium 4 so the drawbacks you know why what that what are the drawbacks the serenium 3 has so taking into consideration those Serenium 4 launched, right? So, however, it is important to know that Serenium 4 is still in beta and may have some bugs. Yes. Now, the architecture, and this is one of the most important points that you have to explain to the interviewer. So, before that, let me just give a revision. So, you will be explaining what is Serenium, okay? Like, what is its usage and how it helps? Secondly, the feature of Serenium 3, okay? Like, in what uh, condition it was launched okay and you can explain some of the features also however there are some limitations and to overcome those limitations Serenium 4 was launched and with some of its features now compa comparing Serenium 3 with Serenium 4 there were some drawbacks that I discussed so keeping into mind keeping in mind those drawbacks Serenium 4 was launched with some additional features and on top of that, you will be explaining now the architecture. So Serenium 3 architecture is basically this. So there are the language, okay, in different languages we write our code that is being fed to the JSON wire protocol. The JSON wire protocol now communicates with the browser drivers and the browser drivers communicates with its respective browsers. So the architecture of Serenium 3 is basically it has Serenium client library or language bindings and the JSON wire protocol over HTTP, the browser drivers and browsers. So what Serenium 3 do does basically, in Serenium client library, the, the Serenium client library, it connects with the browser drivers and the browsers using JSON protocol. So this client library communicates with this browser drivers and the browsers using this JSON wire protocol, right? Now this JSON wire protocol provides a transport mechanism for transferring data between client and server on the web through various data structures like arrays and objects used to read and write data from JSON. So you can explain these also like how JSON works. And JSON works basically as a REST like representational state transfer API to exchange information between HTTP servers. So you can you have to explain this architecture, how it works. Now there's also one limitation that has been overcome in Serenium 4 architecture. So Serenium 3 architecture basically is this. The client talks to the server side through JSON wire protocol. Now if you talk about Serenium 4, the JSON wire protocol has been removed and W3C protocol has been introduced, which makes it more convenient and faster. So in Serenium 4 architecture, what happens? W3C protocol was introduced because 
all the web browsers followed the W3C standards and also the browser drivers followed the W3C standards. So now the client side will be following the W3C and already the server side that is the browser side follows the W3C so the communication will be much more easier. So to standardize the communication just and Briar protocol was replaced by W3C. This helped in better communication with the browsers, stability and common code. There is no browser spe specific code is required now in Selenium 4. Now due to this W3C there is a direct transfer of information between client and server. Major components of Selenium 4 are Selenium client and web driver language bindings. So this is the change that has occurred and due to this change there is an effective communication now between the client side and the server side. Okay, so do not forget to explain the architecture along with the drawbacks of Selenium 3 as well as the features of Selenium 4. Now I am coming to the features. So Selenium 4 launched with these features. So let's have a look into that. The first feature is enhanced Selenium grid. So as I said, Selenium grid comes with the Docker support now. So the parallel testing can be done in an efficient way. Like if any QAs or testers are trying to do the CI CD part. So this will be much more helpful with Selenium 4 because of the release of Selenium grid. Coming to Selenium IDE. So it is also launched in Selenium 4. So this Selenium IDE has improved GUI like graphical user interface, side tool like Selenium ID runner, improved control flow mechanism, enhanced element locator strategy. Now this element locator strategy helps to locate an element in case a web element couldn't be located. So it is much more smarter than Selenium 3. Also code recorded can be exported in, exported in desired language. So Whatever code you are recording in the ID, that particular code can be exported and used in that particular language. So suppose you, you are recording a test script and that script can be downloaded and exported and used in your desirable language. Like if you are using Java, it can be exported to Java. If you are using in C Sharp or Python, it can be ex exported to C Sharp or Python. So coming to the next feature is relative locators. So Selenium 4 helps testers to locate elements based on visual location relative to other DOM elements. So previously we used to locate elements based on the DOM location. Now what we have based on the page location, like suppose if there is an element here and I want to locate an element just above it. So I can use this to left off or to right off or above or below. So these relative locators are also very much helpful that is launched with Selenium 4. Next comes improved documentation. Yes, documentation is very much important. So due to this improved documentation, Selenium 4 has a advantage, additional advantage over Selenium 3. So in this improved documentation, it covers information about all tools and APIs under the Selenium umbrella. So detailed information has been provided in this documentation and that will be helping the QAs and the testers. Coming to the next point, so support from Chrome debugging protocol. So now uh, QAs can now use the Chrome development properties like fetch, network, profiler, performance, application catch. So QAs can also use these APIs like the Chrome DevTools APIs to simulate poor network conditions and geolocation testing. So performance testing or like inspecting the network and doing geolocation testing. So all these things will be done effectively in Selenium 4. Previously we didn't have these features in 3 like in Selenium 3. So using this network profiler performance fetch and all the other things that this Chrome deb debugging protocol is being having. So using this features of Chrome debugging protocol in Selenium 3, we can do all these sort of stuffs like checking from the network end, from the performance end in the browser, in a page, like what is its performance, what is the network speed and all these things. And also we can simulate with these APIs and do this geolocation testing. So that's an, another advantage over Selenium 3 and is one of the feature of Selenium 4. 
Next comes better window or tab management in Serenium 4. So what used to happen previously in Serenium 3? We needed to create a new web driver object, right? To switch to new browser or like if you want to open a new tab or if you want to open a new window, we had to create a new driver object and then that we would be able to go to that new tab or focus on the new window. Now that problem has been overcome. So what Serenium 4 offers, it comes with a new API. There is a new window API and this new window API allows users to create and switch to a new window or tab. So that is a very good feature launched. Coming to another point that is deprecation of desired capabilities. So in Serenium 4, capabilities objects are replaced with options. So previously we used to have desired capabilities that is that was used to modify the browser properties. Okay, so now that has been replaced with options. So what will be happening now? So testers now need to create an options object to test to set test requirements and pass that object to the driver or constructor. So for each browser, we have different options. Okay. And the desired capabilities that we had previously has been removed. So previously what we had to do, we had to use the device desired capabilities object and in conjunction with the Chrome options object, we need use had to merge both of these objects and then we could have used like we used to uh, modify the browser property. So now we don't need desired capabilities at all. We will be just using these capabilities objects and passing pass that object to the driver constructor and modify the browser properties. Coming to the next feature is basically modifications in the actions class. So some of the actions that has been modified is like clicking on the web element, click and hold, context click, double click, release. So certain mouse operations, advanced mouse operations also has been launched in Serenium 4. So these are the features that you can explain. Now coming to the conclusion, you can say, and it's better you should say to the interviewer that Serenium is a powerful tool for automation testing and it has many benefits. It also allows for efficient and reliable testing of web applications and its open source nature makes it accessible to developers. Now when considering to which version of Selenium to use, it's important to weigh the strengths and weaknesses of both Selenium 3 and Selenium 4. While Selenium 3 has been a reliable choice for many years, the Selenium 4 version offers a exciting new features that could greatly enhance the testing capabilities. So the decision ultimately comes down to our specific needs and preferences. So if you could conclude like this way, that would be better. Okay. So I hope all these slides worked. So whenever any question has will be asked regarding Serenium or drawbacks of Serenium 3 or what are the features of Serenium 4 or what is the comparison between Serenium 3 or Serenium 4. So all this can be answered from these slides. So I will be sharing the link of this slide so you can go through this and wherever any modification will be happening in Serenium, I will be uploading or making the modifications in this presentation so you guys can get it so hopefully it helped you guys thanks for watching and keep subscribing automation 24 7 thank you thanks for watching